Hello and welcome! This is Rufal Monger, my friends! Today we are specifically talking about Aki in Street Fighter VI. So, Aki, our next DLC character, we all know she's coming sometime in the fall. We don't have a specific date just yet. Well, Aki is causing a lot of buzz. Why? Because of stuff like this, basically. Her attitude, her look, her everything is definitely inflaming the imagination of a lot of the audience out there. Suffice it to say on all the usual outlets you can think of, I didn't exactly see the burst of support for Rashid that I am seeing for Aki. Now Rashid maybe we were scared because of the gameplay ramifications and how he might be, and he's turned out mostly okay, right? But Aki is definitely attracting a very specific kind of market. Especially if my Twitter timeline is to be believed, because there is a lot of Aki art out there, a lot of Aki talk, and a lot of people are just generally interested in the character. Which supposes the question then, what exactly is Aki going to be like in terms of gameplay? You would think there'd be a very obvious thing to point to in that, well, she's got to be linked to Fang in some way, right? But actually, in my own questioning of the public, a lot of people do not want her to play anything like Fang, despite the obvious links on multiple levels. So when we talk about how she could play one, let's just dispel this out of the gate. She is absolutely linked to Fang, there's no way around it. Maybe she has that crazy girl thing going on, sure, but she's also super goofy as well. I know the Fang link is hyper obvious, but there's always people who try to deny this kind of stuff, so just put it out there. So in the Evo comic, it mentions when she's stalking Rashid how she's Master's foe. When Rashid fights Dan and they KO each other, she's shocked at how did he beat Master with these skills. And in case you forget, Fang is Rashid's rival and Rashid beat him in the story mode. The first thing Rashid thinks when he sees Aki for the first time is, oh, this is like Fang. Oh, and she's the only other poison user in Street Fighter history besides Fang. So the links are all there. That's easy enough to figure out. Not to mention she has a super goofy contortionist movement, just like Fang, and she's super tall, lanky, and thin, just like Fang. So all the physical traits are there as well. She's a weirdo, and that's great. That's exactly what I want out of her, right? I don't want some self-serious, evil girl character like Juri. Aki deserves to be her own thing. So now that all out of the way, how will she play in Street Fighter VI? We have no gameplay just yet, but we can make a couple hopefully safe, hopefully educated guesses just based off what we know. One, poison, right? Everything we've already seen out of her, poison, poison, poison. Like it's definitely gonna be the mechanic. The only thing is, in what manner will it take? So in Street Fighter V, it's actually pretty straightforward. You apply the poison, perhaps even a double dose of poison. And once the poison is in, the enemy's life bar turns purple. And well, they start losing health. You can apply it either via his projectiles or other special moves, or you can use his V-Skill, which happens to be unblockable. But once you get that purple stuff in there, the enemy's health starts draining. But why should it be limited to just health in Street Fighter VI? In Street Fighter VI, we have the drive gauge system, and that's kind of the lifeblood of the game, right? And realistically, right now, only Honda is the character that can, like, as a game plan, go out of his way to force you into burnout thanks to the power of the butt slam and the sumo headbutts. But now we introduce Aki into the mix and who says poison just has to target health? Perhaps poison can target your drive gauge. And when you're poison, that drive gauge goes down just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. We've all played enough Street Fighter 6 at this point where we've had situations where we back off for a second, let's build up gauge a little bit before we re-engage with the match, right? And what if that was taken away from you? If you're poisoned, not only are you not regaining your gauge, it's just going down just a little bit every second, right? That would be a very fun gameplay dynamic, in my opinion. And let her play a game that not really many other people can engage in, because your drive gauge is more than just forcing you into burnout. The less gauge you have, the less options you have as well. And if she can tap you with the poison and start taking away your options, I think that's a really fun way to design a character. Like, yes, she could poison you and it could drain your health, just like Street Fighter V and Fang, right? But I feel that's almost thinking too limited, considering the mechanics we have to work with in Street Fighter VI. So that's me shooting for the moon, sure, right? I don't know, but I think that would be the coolest way you could do poison in SF6. And now, besides poison, even though it's the biggest thing, there are other things to take in mind. So if she's Fang's apprentice, what exactly would she inherit from him besides just the poison mechanic? So one, Fang is a charge character, and I do hope she is a charge character, because one, there isn't that many charge characters in Street Fighter VI. 
Two, you can design moves to be stronger overall when they are charged. And three, I find charge just plain fun. Now from the comic, we get an idea of what kind of projectile she might shoot. So hardly quite the double projectile that Fang does. Not to say she doesn't do it, but this definitely tells a different kind of story. Especially if you've ever played the King of Fighters. So if you remember your favorite secretaries, Vice and Mature, this reads exactly as Mature's projectile, just more poison and goopy instead. The way her arms arc upwards, like after a toss, the relative size of the projectile. Not saying this is a one-to-one -one sort of deal here, but it certainly gives me that vibe. So she'll certainly be tossing the poison. Now, what about the movement? We've already gotten a good idea from the trailer that her movement will be, well, a little different. Rolling all creepily all over the ground before making the big jump scare face here. That certainly is something that takes after her master because Fang is definitely someone who has non-standard movement. A lot of what he does just barely scrapes off the ground, including the fact that he has the coward crouch where he will just directly go to the ground, going under fireballs, by the way, and he has certain moves from it that are very contortionist style moves, to say the least. So looks like she'll inherit part of that moveset at the very least. Hopefully that specific move, because that move was plus on block two, by the way, is a really good move. And speaking of some non-standard movement here, as you can see by this tweet in the art, will she inherit one of Fang's more odd traits? In his critical art, he can just straight up take to the skies and just flap his arms and drop poison bombs on the enemy. And in later versions of the game, he could just straight up fly in the air. He's definitely a very goofy character and uh, definitely enhances his goofy moveset, but it was for mobility and movement, very cool, and also for combos and setups. Now, will she specifically take to the skies like Fang does? Who knows? Given her outfit and she doesn't have the flappy arms and all that kind of stuff, probably not. But non-standard movement, I feel that's a near guarantee. Perhaps she'll be pulling off some contortionist style moves like, say, our pal Voldo from Soul Calibur. She certainly seems to fit the bill in that regard from what we've seen. Now, basically, is this just a big speculation piece? You betcha, because we don't actually know, right? But I do hope there is some links to Fang. Like, make her her own character, sure. But uh, when it comes to, like, the weird movement, the weird moves, the weird personality, I feel like a lot of that's already potentially there, and I hope they go all the way with it. I do hope she can capture also some of Fang's brand of silly because when it comes to like dead serious creepy girl stuff, we already have jury, right? We don't need to double down on that. Like creepy poison assassin, yes, but you know, silly creepy poison assassin, just like Fang. Of the four listed DLC characters we've had for uh, season one, year one of Street Fighter VI, Aki is easily the most interesting to me just because she's the biggest unknown. Rashid, well, turned out he was Rashid, right? Ed and Akuma, probably a safe bet they're gonna be like Ed and Akuma. With a few new toys, sure, but, you know, Ed and Akuma in the end. Aki has the biggest potential to be her own thing. Now, inspired by Fang? I hope so, yes, but inspired by Fang, but also taking her own road, right? Say changes you wanted to make to Fang along the way, but you couldn't because it was an already established character. If you want to do something different and daring, Aki is the place to do it. We already seen from the comic, her projectile game at the very least seems to be a little different in a way. And as for other things, heck, she might even have a command grab. A cool idea would be like a command grab that just poison you, low damage, restands, or a command grab that if you're already poisoned does more damage based off the poison. There's lots of places to take that poison based gameplay and just go all the way with it. It's certainly a mechanic that basically no one else is gonna have. So this is the time to get really unique. And that said, I guess that's the video. This is just a lot of speculation, but it's speculation on the character that has the biggest question mark beside her, right? Akuma Ed, once again, we know what's going to happen to a degree, but Aki is outside of the, you know, on paper, similarity to Fangs, mostly a blank slate. I'm interested to see where it's going to go. That said, that's it for me. But post in the comments below what you think. What do you want Aki to be? How do you think she'll turn out? Because we'll find out sometime this fall. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Street Fighter.